What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and welcome to a quad feed with every gun in Modern Warfare 3. As always, this video is going to feature a quad feed with every primary and secondary weapon in the game. Now, obviously, it's kind of hard to prove because this video is going up on Sunday, but all of the quad feeds were actually hit on Friday. This is one of the fastest quad feed with every gun videos we've ever done, and there's some absolute bangers in this video, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get started here with the assault rifle, starting with the SVA 545. Now, as you'll see throughout this video, a lot of the quad feeds were hit in the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer beta, but this was actually one of the first quad feeds that I hit playing some hardcore on sub base five on let's go dude all right so yeah let's talk about what game modes are best to play for hitting feeds in modern warfare 3 because obviously as you could tell we have a little bit of hardcore going on there but this split quad fee with the mtz 556 this was hitting the beta but regardless of whether a clip was hitting the beta or the full game i'm gonna let you guys know right now that two of the best game modes that you can currently play to hit feeds in modern warfare 3 are going to be hard point and domination regardless of whether that's hardcore or core they just have the most consistent spawns i mean at least domination kind of does now it was a little rough in the beta and the spawns are still a little rough on some maps and some game mode combinations but hard point can actually still be pretty good even if the spawns are a little tricky as you can see there as well on skid row because there's just certain points and certain spots of the map where the flow is just like so good for hitting clips and then we have our first war clip right here with what i believe is the type 95 from modern warfare 3 the original and again a majority of those clips that were hit in like hard pointer domination those could be from the beta or they could be in hardcore but that's another thing to consider as well the war game mode that we have in modern warfare 3 that just came back from call of duty world war 2 that game mode is amazing for hitting clips especially if you're sniping and you're also going to see some other stuff i don't want to spoil anything quite yet but yes we have the famas here coming back i wanted to show this one it was a pretty nice streak it was obviously split and you know we got to clean it up because we have the classic modern warfare 2 famas back in modern warfare 3 so we have some hardcore hard points on invasion and that's just so interesting to think because we never had these kinds of game mode and map combinations back in the original modern warfare 2 but yeah they were all ready for the rotation for hard point managed to squeeze out the quad feet right there and if you can believe it that's going to do it for the assault rifles now we're moving on to the battle rifles starting off here with the bass b i believe we had this in the beta i think this was one of the guns that's just straight up had broken hit detection in the beta but i'm pretty sure i went for this quad feed after sledgehammer games fixed it so thank you sledgehammer yes! 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 Nice. let's go Ooh. Ooh, quad okay. feed, yeah. quad feed, yeah. i promise i'm not weird yeah. Okay, comment down, Eric. We have a commentary to do. Welcome to the Sidewinder. This thing requires eight armory unlocks if you want to get it for multiplayer. Or you could just exfil with it in zombies, which is what I did. And then we got some hardcore on terminal. Got this right off the spawn, which is why I wanted to show you guys. Like, this was literally just the start of the game. Managed to just barely get that split quad feed, but we did it. And I'm gonna just let you guys know right now. I thought the Sidewinder was gonna be good in core because it's like a slow firing but hard hitting battle rifle. It's not. I still had to bring it into hardcore because it just wasn't that good. I also kind of felt the same way about this gun here, the MTZ 762. Oh, I got it! I got it split! Let's go! And the reason you heard me freaking out there is because I did not like any of the battle rifles, except for maybe the Bass B. But now we're moving on to the SMGs, and the SMGs, man, they are pretty good in Modern Warfare 3. This was from the beta. Nice! Yay, let's go! Yeah, I know it's the Striker, but this was my first quad feed. Don't oh. judge me. Oh my god, what a nerd who gets excited over a striker quad feed. If you want to get happy about a quad feed, you should start using the WSP Swarp. This gun is really cool. Ooh, got nice. Okay guys, I put Melvin back in his cage, and now we're busting out the AMR9 with what I call the ball sack magazine. It's like 100 rounds, completely overkill, and we had this in the beta. I don't like the AMR9 though, but I was able to get a split quad feed with it, just spraying it like crazy. Now we're moving on to the WSP9. This is one of my favorite quad feeds because it's on wastelands. Like... Who uses an SMG on Wasteland and then also hits a clip with it? It's just ridiculous. I did it! Hey! <laughs> a Wasteland clip! <laughs> oh, poor Wasteland getting laughed at because it's a terrible map. Okay, speaking of which, we need to talk about what the best maps are to play for hitting clips on Modern Warfare 3. Obviously, you have the War Map, Operation Spearhead. That goes without saying. But weirdly enough, Skid Row. That, so you're seeing a lot of Skid Row clips because Skid Row is like the MVP Weirdly enough, like even Rust is not that good because there's just so much happening, so many opportunities for things to get split, but you can pace things out much better on Skid Row. There it is. Ooh, there it is. But that's going to wrap it up for the SMGs. Now we're moving on to the shotguns in the game, starting off with, oh, the Riveter, the full auto shotgun. Gross. But back to what I was saying about maps, you know, situationally, Rust can be pretty good from time to time for hitting clips. Favela isn't too bad as well. And situationally, High Rise and Scrapyard can be pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, dude, the Breacher Drone just cracks me up. But now we're moving on to a real shotgun, the Lockwood 680, which I even said that this shotgun basically fills the role of the SPAS-12, like the OG SPAS-12 for Modern Warfare 2, because this pump shotgun, man, this thing is nice. I just, I love using this shotgun. But now we're back to basically the brecci of the game. It's the Haymaker, it's the semi-auto shotgun. Ha <laughs> ha, funny brecci joke for the millionth time. <laughs> I got this with the recon jug in the beta because this was the only way to access it then. So I figured, hey, might as well just use this feed. Good job. Fuck, they blew me up! But now that I'm blown up, we're moving on to the LMG, starting off here with the Pulmiot 762. I hope I said that okay. This is a made-up gun name anyway. It's the PKP Pechneg or something similar to that in real life. But yeah, LMG is obviously super easy to use, and this one sounds and performs amazingly. Oh. LMGs aren't typically my favorite class of weapons, but I'll make an exception for the Pulmiot because that thing is just so funny. Now we have basically the LMG version of the Type 95. It's the DG58 LSW, and I got this thing in hardcore, just trying to sort of push the spawns and... Waited for the fourth and got the quad feed. Yes! Oh my god! Let's go! Okay, I just realized I was actually the fifth person and it was like a split five-man feed, but I was really happy with that one because I don't think I had any attachments. But now we're moving on to the Holger 26. I think this one was hit in the beta and my controller was broken and I know this is like super split, but I was happy with it. Huh. Oh! Uh, uh, on screen! Hey, yeah, it was on screen. It was more like a double. But speaking of things that are broken, here we have the broken field of view Bruin MK9. Yeah, I don't even know. There's like this weird bug going on where sometimes when you infill with a weapon, it doesn't matter what you're playing, your field of view will just be like crazy zoomed out. So I knew I wanted to hit a clip while it was like this, and sure enough, I did. Oh, wow, what are you? Oh. What is this? Oh, well, that's done. And just like that, we're done with the LMGs, which were not too hard to use, but now we're moving on to the marksman rifles, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the marksman rifles in this game. Like, Modern Warfare 2 had the SPR and the SAB, and those were basically what a lot of people used as sniper rifles for Modern Warfare 2, and now we have actual marksman rifles, I feel like. You know, like, basically semi-auto weapons that are really not all that fun to use, but you, you know, you kind of have to use them, especially for camo grinding, at least. And I was able to get this quaffy with it, playing some hardcore on high rise. This is situationally one of those maps where it's like, you can kind of sit back and be able to pull off a quad feed, but I started really messing up here. Ah, that was so bad, but at least we got it. I mean, guys, come on. This is a prime example. This is just the ACR in Marksman Rifle version. Like, who wants this? Who, who wants to use this? I really do feel like some of the weapons in this game were basically just like other versions of existing guns to just kind of like pad out the numbers so it looks like there's a lot of guns, which again, I understand the development cycle of Modern Warfare 3, but... Oh, I'm, I'm, Oh, I got a split on screen okay. with it, I'll take it. Sorry, kind of interrupted myself there, but yeah, basically, it would have been nicer if more of these guns were actually, like, new and unique, or at least just more differentiated from each other, I guess. Kind of like this weapon, the DM-56. Fuck me! Oh, wait, I got the split, I got the split! But yeah, when it boils down to it, the marksman rifles, you know, they're not terrible. I did feel like hardcore was the best place to use them because they're consistent one-shot kills. They're strong even in core as well, but in hardcore, I feel like they perform more consistently. But I actually managed to hit this insanely long streak with the MTZ Interceptor in the beta on Rust, and it has some really good headshot potential, as you'll see towards the end of the clip, as I only have two bullets left, pull off the split five, man. That was definitely one of the better streaks and feeds that I had with the marksman rifles, but now we're moving on to the sniper rifles, which I love using so much in this game. They are so good, especially this one, the Cat AMR. Even though this thing is slow, it hits like a truck, and even if you manage to miss collapse, sometimes you'll still hit them. Oh! Collette! <laughs> I choked it at first, but then I got it. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna do my best to not overdo it with sniper clips, but dude, I have so many with the different snipers in this game because they're just so good and so much fun to use. And this is exactly what I was saying earlier about playing the war game mode because the lineups, the spawns, everything is just perfect. But I also wanted to show you guys that it's decent in other game modes as well. We got some core hard points on invasion. I was actually just playing the objective a little bit and then I saw the potential. So I was like, I'm going to keep going and managed to get a really nice quad feed on invasion and a perfectionist. It was split, but man, I just love this sniper so much. And now we're moving on to our next sniper here, the longbow, which a lot of people weirdly don't consider a sniper, but it is a bolt action and it's just so extremely fast. And oh when you use it aggressively like this, it is just such a beast, man. This was my first kill chain on Modern Warfare oh 3. Go, on go, on go. Okay, okay, I guess I'll on go with our last sniper here, the KV inhibitor. This is actually my least favorite one because it kind of just feels like a semi-auto marksman rifle at this point, but pulled this off in the beta. Two of them weren't playing, so I mean, 
it was a pretty straightforward easy quad feed and really this just goes to show that sometimes clips boil down to luck especially when it comes to getting clean quad feeds because i mean some of these guys weren't even playing but guys that's gonna do it for the primary weapons of the game now we're moving on to the secondaries starting with the handguns and starting with the core 45 this thing was actually so good in the beta and i think it's still good in the full game and i managed to pull this off on favela at range like i was so surprised with how strong this pistol actually was oh sponges on quad feed let's go Sucks. Next up, we have the Renetti, which is typically a three round burst pistol, but I have the full auto conversion kit in the beta here. And one thing I do want to say is that I went for a lot of the pistol quad feeds in the beta, so we only had access to core. Obviously, I'm sure as you guys know too, the pistols perform so much more consistently and so much better in hardcore because their damage profiles typically result in one shot kills and they have the best mobility and fastest handling times out of any weapons. So, moving on to the TYR or tire, I don't even know what to call this thing, it's a pistol. This thing is actually pretty good in core, like you can get one shot kills, but I was playing hardcore and managed to hit a split quad feed on Karachi. There's oh, a split. That's a split. Someone flashed me in spawn. Oh, I got the split though. A teammate flashed me. Yeah, honestly, man, that was kind of a bummer because I wanted to keep going. I wanted to have at least one clean pistol quad feed. So now we're finishing up here with the WSP Stinger, which I guess is a pistol version of the Uzi. That's what it makes me think of. And this was in the beta on Rust and I was trying so hard to get a clean quad feed. I had to like maneuver all around the map and stuff too, but it just didn't happen. I do apologize for not having any clean pistol quad feeds, but I still go for the best and fastest possible feeds that I can for you guys. And hopefully this quad feed with the only launcher that's new in Modern Warfare 3 will make up for that. Which by the way, the Pila and the RPG, I know they're on default classes, but they're not actually classified as new Modern Warfare 3 weapons. So this right here, the noob tube, the RGL80 is the only one and I managed to do this. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, I can't believe I got it. What? <laughs> Let's go, dude. All right. That's right, guys. I managed to pull off the quad feed with it on Rust. I had a feeling that playing hardcore on Rust was going to result in a quad feed. And sure enough, it did just casually while streaking with the FAMAS. Managed to pull it off. I wanted to do a replay in slow-mo because it's the only launcher. But now we're moving on to the melee weapon, starting off here with the gutter knife. And strangely enough, the war game mode plays out amazingly for melee only, at least at the end here, because people are trying to play the objective. Sometimes they're camping over here. And if you can catch them off guard when they're coming out of spawn, you can get a clean quad feed. Gota. I'm insane. In the membrane. I'm insane, dude. <laughs> Got the clean! But unfortunately, sometimes the skill-based matchmaking kicks in, and then it's really hard to try to get knife quad feeds. So we have our very last weapon here for Modern Warfare 3. This is the Krambit, which obviously they stole from Counter-Strike. <laughs> I'm kidding, but dude, the Krambit has such an awesome inspect in this game as well. And I was just trying to play aggressively, kind of hang around their spawn, wait for them to come out and see if I could pull off something with the Krambit. And I did! It just wasn't clean, but I was trying to get these knife kills as much as I could. I was playing like Ring Around the Rosie over here with this guy. We're at a split triple now, and I just barely managed to get an on-screen split quad feed with the Krambit. And I was still going. I was still trying. But amazing streak, just not a clean quad feed. But now we have some bonus clips on Modern Warfare 3, starting off here with the Breacher Drone. I actually hit this in the beta, and you guys might recognize this clip if you've been watching it for a bit. Quad! Oh! <laughs> what? Quad feed? Yes! Nice. Oh my lord. Yeah, dude, that quad with the breacher drone was just like so out of the blue. I didn't even see four people. But now we're moving on to, I guess, another gun. Technically, I had to hit this because <laughs> it's a buildable turret. So it's technically a gun. So you have to use it, Eric. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, we're on the buildable turret. <laughs> really hard to get a quad feed with this thing. They can barely shoot or kill you, and you just have like basically unlimited ammo. So there you go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> But ladies and gentlemen, this is our last quad feed on Modern Warfare 3, and you're not going to believe what it is. Wait, is it with the grenade launcher? Oh, stunned. I got the Striker 9. Maybe it's another Striker. No, it's not a Striker 9 clip. Huh. I got to respawn. I mean, what, what kind of quad feed could this be? Nothing's happened. What? Come on, Eric. What are you What are you doing? Oh, he's got a grenade. Wait, what? Oh. Oh! What? Oh, what? Quad nade? Wow, okay. Now, even though this isn't quad feed with every grenade in Modern Warfare 3, that is going to wrap it up for a quad feed with every gun in Modern Warfare 3. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like and share this video, whatever you can do to support it, because these videos, they take so much time. I'm so sleep deprived right now. <laughs>
Your boy's hanging by a thread right now, but I just, I do it for you guys. I want you guys to have the best possible quad feed videos, and I try to do them as fast as possible, too. Because that's what we do! We go hard! But yeah, since we hit all the quad feeds after this, I'm probably just going to be grinding for camos on Modern Warfare 3. But if you guys do have any suggestions for other games that you'd like to see me do a quad feed with every gun on, definitely leave a comment letting me know. And again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed a quad feed with every gun in Modern Warfare 3. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more quad feed videos, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Outcome. Oh. Tranquil.